Welcome to Kinnick Stadium. You're watching the Big Ten on ESPN. A spectacular day for football on this Saturday morning, 11 a.m. local kick time for Iowa. Coming off that Rose Bowl season from a year ago. And North Dakota State, the five-time defending FCS national champions with one of the biggest regular season games in school history as they get set to take on the 11th ranked Hawkeyes. Kickoff will go out the back of the end zone and is 10 and 0 as a starting quarterback, Anthony. This young man is a winner. Uh, when you watch him and the coaches talk about him, they talk about it factor. 2-0 as the full-time starter this year. A couple of overtime wins for North Dakota State. And play action on first down, and he will hit his tight end, Connor Wentz. The cousin of their former quarterback, Carson Wentz, and he's got the first down. Nice change of pace, too, for the Bison with that power run game and there's a our first look at that across midfield we'll get the ball on second down and he'll dive down inside the 45 and it looks like he's got enough and they felt completely comfortable being here they've been in big stadiums playing big games before against fbs foes and they've got it rolling here early darius shepherd Second down and a couple. Easton Stick, he has the ability to tuck it and go, and he's got a first down, gets slammed. How much do you want to run against into the teeth of this big Iowa defense? That's going to be the play-calling challenge today for them, Rocky. Uh, they go back to Dunn, tries to get to the outside, and it's closed down. Maben came up. Back to Frazier here as the offset back. High snap over the head of Stick. Taps it all the way back out to the 45 where he jumps on it. And a Receiver screen to Shepard. Closed down quickly by the Hawkeye defense. So a costly miscue inside his own 10 yard line. And Desmond is going to let that one bounce and North Dakota State. Will down it at the two yard line, 40 yards. Really dial in on the defense, change the plays up, and really expand his role. And again, he's low turnover ratio. He's very smart with the football. He is the smartest player on the football field. Undefeated here at home, undefeated in the regular season, 15 and 2 as a starter. And they'll throw to the tight end. Let's see if he can get that done here, Rocky. On second down from their own two-yard line after the nice punt. Battled up right at the line of scrimmage. LaShawn Daniels met. They'll roll out Befford, and he'll fire it out of bounds over the head of Jay Shield. And they're going to have to punt. Eric Perkins is back deep to receive at midfield. And the fair catch from Perkins. And the Bison will start. And they'll start out at the Iowa 45. Stick to throw. Gets flushed out. Budget of giving chase. And stick incomplete. Intended for Darius Shepard. They say he was out. Second and ten out of the eye. They'll run at King Frazier. Big hole up the middle. He'll burst through it for nine more. Let's go. Third and two back here in Iowa City. They're going to run for it, and they're not going to get it. Dunn stuffed behind the line. Already stymied once, deep in Iowa territory. Stick will keep. Stick will power towards the line to gain, and it will all come down to the spot. Lance Dunn is the offset tailback. Dunn trying to get to the outside. Nice work by number 44, Ben Neiman. Who Big win last week against Virginia Tech. Favorites to win that SEC East. King Frazier, nothing doing. Jaleel Johnson.
Four-man rush, pressure coming up the middle, stick, buying some time, and it's intercepted at the 10-yard line. Picked off by Brandon Snyder as Stick tried to force it downfield. And don't forget that's Christian McCaffrey time tonight for the Stanford Cardinal, the runner-up last year for the Heisman Trophy. And I don't the ability and the confidence to check anytime he wants at the line. And not a bad check right there to hand it off to Daniels. And first down, the second possession for the Hawkeyes after they went three and out of the first. Daniels bounces to the outside and knocked out of bounds after a short game by Robbie Grimsley. The Greg Davis, the O'Cord, now in his fifth year with Kirk Ferentz. False start. Offense, number 64. Five-yard penalty. Remains second down. Ooh. Chris Connor Boone's got to be buzzing today. That's one of the biggest games they've ever had there with uh, Miami coming to town. Beathard, they'll run the receiver screen. They'll get the touch for Vandenberg. Knocked down around the 27-yard line. Trying to overcome the penalty. Beathard wasn't expecting the snap. He's able to handle it, hit as he lets it go, and it's picked off. And it's returned to the end zone by MJ Stumpf. And a pick six for the Bison D. Offense knocked down the door, and then the field position finally caught up with them. Defensively third down, you got to have your eyes up on offense for pressure. North Dakota State off the edge, flips it up, gets a touchdown, house call. 7-0. Closing in on you, he did not right there, and it cost the Hawkeyes. This will not get all the way back to Desmond King. And the Hawkeyes will be set up around the 25-yard line anyway. They use the same verbiage as he used here at North Dakota State, so nice transition for him. Offense back to work, C.J. Beathard. Throwing it underneath the crossing route to Akram Wadley. He's the poise and the confidence of Beathard coming off of the turnover. This is Wadley. Stuffed at the line. The power back Daniels. He gets the call. A couple of Bison whiffed on a chance in the backfield and he plunges. But that'll be interesting in the past play action game. Beathard, the first down throw to Vandenberg, and he's out across midfield to move the sticks again. Final 15 seconds of this first quarter. Iowa trailing by a touchdown. Kittle motions into the backfield, gets a nice block. Wadley lunges for a yard. The interception return for a touchdown. MJ Stump. The difference. FBS and FCS tangling today in Iowa City in a matchup of unbeatens. Just the second play of the day in Bison territory, and C.J. Beathard is going to run for it, and he's down to the 41-yard line. Not having him in, the, in there is, is huge. They're both out with injuries. Third and short. And the right side of that line, Render and Legrand gets the job done there, first down. North Dakota State, though, has run 14 of them in Hawkeye territory. Offense, though, has yet to score. Beathard batted and deflected at the line of scrimmage. They try and creep a safety up a little bit. Beathard throwing underneath to his tight end. Kittle to the 30-yard line. Third down and three. Showing Blitch off the edge, and the throw incomplete intended for Vandenberg. Vandenberg is not out there. They go with two guys to the right. Beathard looking that way. He's got McCarron. The defender slipped, and Riley McCarron will take it in and score. Play design and confidence on fourth down. Extra point is good, 11 plays, 75 yards, four and a half minutes, Anthony, and it ends with the 30-yard strike.
Beautiful play, fourth down, trying to make a big play up the field. They take all advantage of it, getting themselves their first score of the game. Good work by Bethard to find his man, and now the kickoff, and the down. A game summary right now, Stump with the interception, the pick six, the first for an FCS team against a ranked FBS foe in three years, by the way. But right now, the advantage, the momentum with Iowa. On second down, after the loss of four. Bison will try and run it, and nowhere to go. That was Josie Jewell. They need to get out to the 35. Parker Hesse with the pressure up the middle of the throw, and what a one-handed grab! Out to the 45-yard line by the man, Bruce Anderson. Not only offensively, but special teams today as well. And they're going to get it right back to Bruce. Pulls his way through a defender and down to the 40-yard line. He ran right over Brandon Snyder. Going to give it to Bruce again here. They'll use him as the decoy. Pass downfield incomplete. Attended Waterloo West High School. He's the deep man in the eye. And he'll get the call. Done. Nice cut back. Picks up four or five. And a third and six. Stick on the rollout. The throw low and incomplete. Yard line. This one's high and short, and a fair catch by King out at the 16-yard line. Recruiting uh, specialist. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. where the, the Ferentz boys played in that rivalry. Tim Dwight played in that rivalry. And now Beckford with the deep ball and the connection. And then the ball is stripped out at the end of the play, recovered by Iowa and Germany Smith. Ends up being a 51-yard gain. Just outside the 30, the cutback, Wadley shedding a couple of tacklers, and the juke down inside the 15, and into the red zone for Iowa. Yep, Vandenberg 89 in the slots, always a dangerous target. Bethard looking his way, firing across the middle for Vandenberg, touchdown! yards to Matt Vandenberg hit the touchdown PAT is good 83 yards just three plays needed in a minute and a half to take the lead Vandenberg selling this steps inside and watch Beathard in the second window throw it in for a touchdown nice play and excited number 89 hit Vandenberg for the touchdown this is Short Anderson, who had two kick returns for touchdowns in the FCS playoffs last year. He'll make his way out to the 24-yard line. Thank you, Chris. That terrific matchup of the young quarterbacks in the ACC this afternoon. A couple unbeatens there. A couple of 2-0 and teams here. Easton Stick on the rollout, and the pass is caught by Darius Shepard. Stick under center. King Frazier to the 39, and that's it. Picked up one. And Matt Nelson, both Iowa products. Half the starters, by the way, offense and defense, are Iowa guys for the Hawkeyes. Mabin, the first guy there to make the tackle at the 45-yard line. Third and three for North Dakota State. Just one for five today. Making one for six and a big open field tackle. Desmond King is back deep. King with the fair catch. Then Iowa will have it starting out at their own 20-yard line. Roethlisberger is my fantasy quarterback this year, Anthony, so I'm watching the Steelers. This is Beathard on first down, and the give is to Daniels. That's why he's uh, the Missouri Valley Defensive Player of the Week this week as well after that big game. Incomplete. 
defensive end to the bottom of your screen, Greg Menard. Bethard takes a hit, passes away, incomplete. Eric Perkins, who returned a punt for a touchdown in the FCS playoffs last year, won't get a chance here. He'll call the fair catch. And the Bison. They've also got uh, one of their playmakers, Bruce Anderson, back in the game. They'll fake the jet to Shepard, stick with Keith. And uh, spent some time in his younger days at Iowa football camps. Connor Wentz, the tight end, out across the 45 and a first down. Problem on the snap for Stick. Gets the pass away and Shepard dropped it right around the line to gain. I think that's more his leadership ability yeah. though than <laughs> physically the attraction to the quarterback is there so far in the first half and there's Jewel trying to plug up the hole up the middle and he wrapped up Lance Dunn so he empty set here with five wide trips to the right and including Bruce Anderson Stick looking the other way Stick caught and down he goes ball popped out at the end of the play they're going to rule him down you see here as he falls to the ground his hands down on the ground his knee hits and the ball comes out so again not a fumble but very close King with the fair catch at the 20 for Clemson uh, so, uh, apologizing for the lackluster start for the Tigers <laughs> a different story Anthony today Bethard fires down the middle and it's dropped by Germanique Smith. It's been a shortcoming. Two more coming today. And a couple of drops. This time it's Wadley. Vandenberg is slotted right. Bethard gets away from the pressure. Almost intercepted out across midfield, and that'll bring up fourth down. But that was a big time play for him right there. Eisen will have a chance here to get the ball back with 1-16. They open up their Pac-12 slate tonight with USC. So now late in the half, a chance for the Bison incomplete. Design quarterback run. He's got a big hole out across midfield. No slide there for Easton Stick. Hits the defender. You do, and, and maybe start working the middle of the field right here. This tight end. That's Jeff Ilias. He's the inside running tight end. He could be a factor. They pass on the jet sweep and will keep it with the quarterback. It'd be big against Iowa, but all year long, they don't need this guy. And he's going to be sacked. Big bear hug from Jaleel Johnson. Iowa still has a timeout, too, if they want to try and get the ball back. Motion man is Bruce Anderson. He will get the call. Josie Jewell in hot pursuit, and they run him out. Koontz. King lost it, and it rolls out of bounds. In his possession, it bounced out. A bad break for North Dakota State. Eisen almost got the turnover there, and instead Iowa will take the knee, and they'll take the lead into the locker room, 14-7. Cam Peterson will kick it away. Desmond King back deep for the Hawkeyes. They have never lost to an FCS opponent. Five straight wins for North Dakota State over FBS opponents. And out across the 35. We'll got to get that short up. Thanks, Coach. That was Rocky with uh, Chris Kleiman just a moment ago coming out of the locker room. This is LaShawn Daniels with the burst. Inside the 25. Caught at the 10 and hauled down at the 5-yard line by Trey Dempsey and a penalty flag way back in the line of scrimmage. Holding. Offense. Number 46. 10-yard penalty. Daniels will come out to catch his breath. It's Wadley now in at tailback. Against the four-man pressure. Kittle trying to redeem himself with the catch out across the 30. 
Second and long. Again, a couple of Bison to watch. 49 to Luca. 96. Menard. Blitz coming. Bethard had to get rid of it. and No reason to fall for play action here. Pressure right up the middle. And the sack for Greg Menard. Made himself 5-6 on that one against the left tackle. After a quiet first half, Menard makes a statement. Yeah. You enjoyed his work last week. They'll try the jet sweep. I don't think we can see enough of Bruce Anderson, quite frankly, for them in the second half. I mean, listen, that, that's a tall order. He did a nice job. On second down, a run up the middle for Frazier. Short game, Rocky. Out of the empty set, the throw caught at the 45. Shepard broke a tackle and picked up the first down. Frazier, the deep man in the eye. He gets the ball for short yardage. You know, going back to what... They want to develop their players, and you're right. Uh, the coaching is premium on both sides for both teams. The pitch, Anderson cut down around the 41 yard. Yeah, we got a great game here, so uh, he's pretty jacked up about it. This would be one of the great moments in Bison football history. It's their longest carry. drive of the day. Is the first two times they had it, they had scoring opportunities, and they slipped away. Nice move by Lance Dunn. The stiff arm at the 25. The foot race for the pylon. Desmond King. For the pylon, before the goal line. This would be a good angle here. Now it's hard to see the ball. Themselves up After in a nice review, position. the ruling on the field is confirmed. First down and goal at the three-yard line. Play action. The throw to the back of the end zone, incomplete, and the receiver, Nate Jensen, was held up. Well, they tried one of Iowa's plays, stuck it in the back's belly, and then tried to come up with a pass, and you see the contact Pass interference, there. defense, number 37. The ball be placed at the two-yard line, automatic first down. This is where you get those big guys up front. 98 is a tight end eligible, Bruce Messner on the left side of the line. They're going to run that way. Frazier, second effort, no. Denied by Bo Bauer. Frazier, touchdown, North Dakota State. Postseason going for FCS titles. The big test. The big challenge today against an Iowa team that played in the Rose Bowl a year ago and won the Big Ten West. And the Bison are dead even, 14-all. All these years and all these wins, running the football down the defense's throat. Heck of a job by the offensive line for North Dakota State. Desmond King tapped himself on the chest. I want this one. And he'll take it out to the 30-yard line. Is in now Iowa, can you answer in your house? With their senior quarterback, C.J. Bethard, and their experienced runners, that's Daniels. Thank you, Chris. That's a big game for Wisconsin because their start to the Big Ten schedule is brutal, including games with Michigan, Michigan State, and Ohio State, as well as Vandenberg in motion. Bethard flushed out, got a run for it, and it looks like he's got it. He paid for it, and the first true pr uh, freshman to play quarterback here at Iowa since Drew Tate. With the score tied, six and a half to go in the third. They'll go play action, and he's got Kittle, the tight end, wide open. Shoved out of bounds at the 25. Wadley, the single setback. Wadley. Short game, Rocky. He only threw three passes the first two games, and now his third straight game with an appearance. And run the play action again. It's Kittle. 
enjoying a career day. That's his fifth catch. He's got over 100 yards. Daniels fouls his fullback. First and goal, Iowa. They'll also stick with the quarterback, Stanley. It appeared that Bethard was rushing over to try and get back in the game. Daniels, they'll try and stretch it out to the left side, and the Bison are right there at the 10. They'll stretch it out again with Daniels. Gets back maybe to the original line of scrimmage. Watch, watch for that top of the screen. Number 83 is dangerous. Quick receiver. Pressure coming. Bethard able to elude it. Thought about the run to the back of the end zone in traffic caught. Touchdown, Matt Vandenberg. It's open. Big play. Iowa stays perfect this season in the red zone. 12 for 12, and they respond to the score by North Dakota State. And Bethard to Vandenberg puts the Hawkeyes back on top. And uh, the tight end, George Kittle, enjoying career highs. He's over 100 yards receiving. And they will not give. They still have games, by the way, with Clemson and Houston on the schedule. North Dakota State looking for a big play. Can King Frazier deliver? Waiting for a blocker, sheds a tackler and all the way down inside the 30-yard line. And the Bison have delivered just that play action. Easton Stick couldn't get away from number 96, Matt Nelson. Empty set on second down. Stick. Caught and hauled down after a short game. We will head to the fourth quarter. One touchdown separating Iowa and North Dakota State. And a big third down for the Bison coming up when we come back to Kinnick Stadium. Can the FCS do it again? Or will the Power Five deny a shot at an upset? It's a third and 11. Play action for Stick, in trouble, gets out of it, lofts it down the middle of the field, incomplete, broken up at the three. This would be a 50-yard attempt for Keith Duncan, who has kicked one field goal today, excuse me, for Cam Peterson. And it is short. No good. C.J. Beathard is back out there at quarterback. Beathard in trouble. CJ trying to get out of bounds and takes a big hit on the sideline. Flags fly. And the penalty will be on MJ Stump. He's tracking him. He's trying to get on. It's close. Yep. CJ apparently has shaken that off. And now from their own 49, first and 10. With the power game, and Daniels picks up a couple. Two of them to Matt Vandenberg, who is slotted right. Bethard pitches it to Daniels, breaks a tackle at the 45, and is corralled at the 43. Right on the top here that we need to keep our eyes on. Blitz is coming, and the snap got away from Bethard, and down he goes. Kaluzzi. Boots this one away, and that'll reach the end zone. And it's back to North Dakota State from their own 20. Chase Morlock run out of bounds. Up by Mickey's Dairy Bar up there in Madison. After the Big Ten had gotten off to a good start the first couple of weeks. There's a first down run for the Bison. Very heavy in this second half. This is a team that has already won twice in overtime this year. The give is to Anderson. He's got room. Anderson across midfield and a first down. 302 goes to center. 322 it goes Plankers. Some big bodies for an FCS school up front. 
Iowa called the Big Tennis, in fact, Rocky, as Parker Hesse bats down the throw. A team that a lot of folks think might be back contending for the Big Ten Championship this year, but right now, the Bison. 13 carries, 87 yards now for King Frazier. This is Shepard down at the line of scrimmage. And as we can see, a heck of a player. Play action for Stick. Throws it out into the flat, and the catch is made at the 31 by R.J. Erzendowski. Just two for ten on third down today. They will try the ground game, and a terrific push forward down inside the 25. Look like movement pre-snap. You don't see a flag. Breaking the tackle is done to the 22. I don't think anyone thought it would be the NDSU offensive line that would wear down the front of this Iowa Hawkeye defense. It's the 10th play of this drive. Frazier, nice cut. Found a seam close to the 20 and wrapped up. They will try and run it. Done. Lunging forward. Line up and gash these guys. Let's see if the defensive front for Iowa can make a stop on fourth and short. The give is to Frazier. At the 15. And the second effort will get it. First down, Bison. On first down from the 14, Morlock muscles his way inside the 10. And a reminder, seven and a half minutes off the clock on this 14-play drive. Dunn squirmed for maybe a yard. Bo Bauer met him. The play fake, the toss, the touchdown. North Dakota State, Chase Morlock. And is it going to be one or two here for North Dakota State? It looks like the offense is going to stay out there. Stick the pump. Getting to the outside. His receiver falls down in the end zone. Trying to make a play. It's batted up. Popped up in the air. And it is incomplete. And the Hawkeye defense holds. And they are still up 21-20. They've still got a couple of timeouts. And they'll go ahead and boot it away. Can King make another play here for Iowa on special teams? Out across the 30. Chris Cotter. The Bison with a couple of timeouts. Daniels stumbled in the backfield. Clock rolling now under three minutes to go. Second and 12. Iowa will run it again. Wrapped up by Nick DeLuca. Showing some pressure here. Pressure coming from the Bison right up the middle and Beckard is thrown down for a loss at the 20. Robbie Grimsley. And back. It's Eric Perkins back deep to receive the punt. Good one from Kaluzi and the fair catch. They're going to have it. Stick will keep. Gets a nice block up the Easton stick down at the 36-yard line as they work their way into Iowa territory. Stick hit as he throws, and it's caught by Erzendowski at the 26, and a first down. Now to the ground game. Chase Morlock. More on the ground with Morlock. Are they content here to keep it on the right hash for, for one of the biggest upsets in FCS and FBS history? 37 yards. is on its way and it is good wow. as time expires wow cam peterson 
the game winner for the Bison as they come to Iowa City and shock the Hawkeyes. What a game by North Dakota State. I'll tell you what, I've never been more impressed by a team to play four quarters, punch for punch. These are the kind of wins, Anthony and Rocky, that get you another invitation to have game day possibly come to town. <laughs> a stunning upset coming up next. It's college football scoreboard presented by Honda and then the World Cup of Hockey. But for right now, let's get you to Chris and the guys in the studio.